Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Let A, B, and C be sets where B is not empty and A times B is a subset of B times C. Then A is a subset of C. Now, we're trying to prove that every element of A belongs to C. So give me an arbitrary element in A. I'll call it X. And from here, we want to show that X belongs to C. Well, to start, since B is not empty, this means that B has at least one element in it. And I'll call that element T. So, since X is an element of A and T is an element of B, this tells us that X comma T is an element of A times B. And then, since A times B is a subset of B times C, this means that every element of A times B belongs to B times C. So since X comma T is an element of A times B, we have that X comma T is an element of B times C. Now since X comma T is an element of B times C, this means that the first coordinate is an element of the first set and the second coordinate is an element of the second set. So X is an element of B and T is an element of C. In particular, we have that X is an element of B. But then, since x is an element of a and x is an element of b, this tells us that the ordered pair x comma x is an element of a times b. And then, since a times b is a subset of b times c, it follows that x comma x must then be an element of b times c. And this means that x is an element of b and x is an element of c. So in particular, we have that x is an element of c. Putting this together, we see that under the assumption x is an element of a, it follows that x is an element of c. Since x was arbitrary, this means we have shown every element of a is also an element of c. In other words, we have shown that a is a subset of c. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove, so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.